So, it is going on almost 24 solid hours. So it's like I got my iPhone 13 Pro Max in the house. Now this thing came a whole several days early. It wasn't supposed to be here until the 15th of October, which is Friday, but it decided to come on early. So I wanted to talk to you guys just really quickly about my first 24 hours with this device and how I feel about it. Obviously it's an iPhone, so you kind of know what you're gonna get, but let's go on ahead and talk about it. Let's get into the intro. Hey, what's up everybody? Tech King Mike, I'm back again with another video. And if you guys are new here, make sure you check out the channel, man. Hope you enjoy the content that you see. And if you do enjoy the content, man, think about subscribing and hitting that like button. Let me know that you like what you see so I can continue to produce more of it for you. That being said, iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, as you can see, I got my dog modeling on the front here. And I gotta say, there are three things that I took away from the first 24 hours with this phone that kind of led me to believe that my initial impressions of wanting to move to this device from the 13 Pro were accurate. Reason number one is the fact that this thing's screen is huge. Now, I understand that not everybody's gonna take advantage of this type of screen, and I understand that the iPhone doesn't give you split screen multitasking and things of that nature, but hey, I don't really care about that. The most that I do with my phone is I turn it sideways and I look at a couple of YouTube videos, or I look at some, you know, Netflix or Paramount Plus or something like that. I'm not one of those people that is really big on split screen multitasking. I can literally count on one hand how many times I've done it this year alone, and I have a Galaxy Z Fold 3. So split screen multitasking is not one of those things that is like a make or break for me. What I really like when it comes to a big screen phone is just the canvas, the ability to do more with it. Let's say I wanted to record a video and I wanted to use this phone to do so. I can not only record the video with this phone, I can then turn the phone on its side and I can edit the video in LumaFusion right on the phone without having to feel cramped with the, the small 6.1 inch display or 5.7 if I was using an iPhone mini or something like that. So for me, the screen size gets it done. It's something that I'm really enjoying that I'm actually really glad to have back. After going from a 13 Pro to an iPhone 6S back to this, it is very refreshing to go back to a big screen. Another thing, reason number two, why I am truly and really enjoying the experience with this thing is the battery life. Folks, I told you in my video, which I have that link somewhere up above in this area, that the 13 Pro battery was great, but I knew going to the max, I'd get better battery life. Now. I may not be a 120 hertz refresh rate snob and know the differences between all of them, but I can say this, the refresh rate that I'm getting on this device seems like it's in every app, so I can't tell you whether or not it's it's closed off on certain apps or whatever, but I can say the battery on this thing has been incredible. Now, I took this thing off the charge of its first full charge at 7.30 this morning, and I can tell you that as of the time of recording this video, the phone is still at 33%, folks. It's still at 33%. That's with 5G, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth on all day. I didn't cut none of it off. Normally, I would cut 5G off on the 12 Pro Max to get the more battery life when I'm at work, but I literally left everything on all day. I work 12 hours a day. I am confident that this device can get me through work easily. And I'm talking about phone calls, FaceTime, video watching, music streaming, uh, so much stuff that I've done today just using my phone like I normally would and I don't have that anxiety about the battery and it is an amazing feeling to have that. It's just, it's, it's truly incredible, truly incredible. And the third reason why I am enjoying my experience with the Pro Max after 24 hours is the camera. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, Tech King Mike, the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max have the same camera and you're right. So since I didn't really do, since I didn't really talk too much about the camera and about my experience with the 13 Pro, I'll talk about it right now. I'll tell you guys that the camera experience with the 13 Pro Max has been pretty good. I really and truly am enjoying the still photography that's coming out of this. iPhones, to me, in my personal preference, are really good when it comes to video. Case in point, the first year and a half of this channel was started with an iPhone XS Max. And I didn't know, I didn't have any kind of special lighting like this one here, or any kind of, you know, accent lighting or anything. It was just literally a ceiling fan, and that was it. So I've always been a fan of iPhone video and what they can produce in 4K and HD. And I'm just truly impressed with what they've done this year. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a very minor upgrade, but it's enough to make me say, man, it looks good and I enjoy it. So camera experience is being, is, is pretty nice as well. So those three things are kind of just, you know, 
give, giving me a good vibe so far with the first 24 hours with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But we're going to get more into this device, man. We got some cases coming. You know, we got a few things that we're going to talk about when it comes to it. And I got to say, man, like I said, Apple did a really good job this year with their devices. You got to give Apple credit, man. You got to stop this whole, we can't give Apple credit. Apple did a good job this year. If you don't like certain things about the iPhone, that's fine. Everyone, Everyone's entitled to an opinion. But don't be that person that lets that blind you from a company creating a good device. Okay, that's all I'm gonna ask you. If you, you know, before you go in the comments and say, "Oh, it's not true, 120 hertz. Oh, the cameras are trash. Oh, the cameras are whatever." Hey, that's fine. It's your opinion. I respect it. I actually respect mine, and we'll leave it alone. That being said, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. If you did, drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel again if you're new here, and leave me a comment down below. Did you pick up an iPhone 13 this year from the lineup? The Mini, the Pro, the regular 13 Pro Max. Let me know. And if you did, what color did you get? I personally think Graphite is the one to beat this year, but that's just me. Sierra Blue, eh, Graphite all the way. So, Team Graphite, if you're in the comments, man, holla at me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Y'all be good. Stay safe. Peace.